Hey folks, uh, here's the first, well, really second of my Christmas special videos. As you recognize, as maybe, well, as you may recognize, this is Hitman Blood Money on PS2. Um, the reason I picked this is because there's actually a Christmas themed label on it. it. Well, as you can tell by the title, you better watch out. Referring to, of course, um, Santa Claus is coming to town. In this case, I guess it's 47 is coming to town. Haha. <laughs> Um, of course, Hitman 4, actually no, it would be 5, sorry, um, Hitman Absolution has come out uh, recently in the past couple of weeks, a um, few days, whatever, depending on where in the world you live or when I actually upload this video, um, and of course, I rushed down and bought it, well not really, I bought it a few days late after it came out, but I've played through most of it, um, yet to play for it all. The story for this is, uh, this guy here in the wheelchair is telling this reporter of all these famous deaths or mysterious deaths or whatever uh, that have happened for America have actually, or even the rest of the world, have actually happened at the hands of Agent 47. Um, so a lot of, well, pretty much the whole game, minus the last level, I guess, perhaps the first one, um, are all flashbacks. So we see December 24th, 2004. Maybe I should have saved this video for then, but too late now. Always. Um, just send me the briefings. And I mean that's a similar style to the main contract. Okay, we've got some objectives. We have to kill Lorn Deville. We got a second target, Chad Rangan Jr. Who is Senator's son? Um, Lorn. Lone de Halevin, or whatever his name is, of course, is a parody of, um... Senator Bingham's involved in a tight re-election campaign. That's your camera, where you get it tape from? Hmm, it's been so long since I've played this. Now we can escape. Um, we'll grab some weapons. So actually, the only weapon we really need is the silver ballers. I should have fought Grace for everything. No, I don't. Got a recent photo of Jack. Oh, we have that now. Huh. It's been so long since I played this, I don't even know. Uh, this Max Silence one. Uh, well, that's fine. I figured I would have actually upgraded everything because I believe I have completed every level. Uh, with this save, um, maybe I haven't, maybe I've actually restarted this game, uh, I don't know. Notice that there's also a question mark one on the right. There is a third target um, that is hidden, which is the main reason why I've got the silver ballers. Um, as really, okay we've been spotted by the camera, but really there's little you can do to avoid that. There is another path in there. Um, into the building where you can sneak along. Um, I mean, we could have taken that, uh, but we didn't, and that's fine. Um, it's really been a long time since I played this, so I really can't remember too much about it. And for some reason, actually playing this on this TV, I don't know how it actually looks on the recording, but on the television, um, it's very dark. I could mess around with the contrast and stuff like that, but it's just a typical thing of, you know, you'll need to do it again later. As we see, we're at a Christmas party with a lot of lovely young ladies and a man who decided to stand on a chair for some reason. Um, we can talk to the This will give you the extra oomph you'll need to make the most of your time at the grotto, if you know what I mean. Well, wow, thanks. He's putting an aphrodisiac on the bench there. Um, 
as we mentioned, or as the intro mentioned, there's the same of the sun, that's him there. There's actually multiple ways to deal with him, um, as per most Hitman games. I really can't see what I'm doing most of the time. Uh, there is a drink you can spike somewhere. I think he actually might put on the that table. Been hitting the sauce pretty hard. Got a bottle of port in the kitchen. I hate a drunken Santa. Uh, that's hint, of course, that you can. Santa's been hitting the sauce pretty hard. Yeah, same thing. Uh, it's something that you can knock out the Santa and steal his costume if you want to dress up as Santa. Um, of course, with each costume, people do different reactions to you. Jeez. Um, there is a way to spike the drunk, but I can't remember how you do it. The drunk's there. This waiter's got it, so we'll follow the waiter and see what we can do. And um, what happens when you spike the drink, you actually spike it to aphrodisiac. Um, every so often a woman will come up to this guy, and send it to the sun and say, do you want to come back with me? Um, until he's actually got the drink spiked, for whatever reason, he turns these people... Oh, hello. And he turns these women down. So we're going to hit it now. Here we go. And there's the happy center. Um, so now we do need the disguise. Of course, this was the first game, I believe, I could be wrong, that added the, wow, it's really dark, that added the bonus of, um, having a, s using the suit the whole way through. Just change the weapon quickly and go to sedative. Uh, create the control is completely different to have solutions so. Oh, there's guards. Um, so I, I, I do have the potential to balls this up a few times. And oh shit. There, for example. Um, oh, someone spotted it. He'll wake her up. Um, actually, no, this guy's realized who I am. Oh no, he's gone to tell guards that she's unconscious, they'll wake her up. Um, I don't think she'll suspect me. But we'll see. Um, I probably actually needed that extra sedative um, for later in the round. But they shouldn't be able to find the body behind there. Just be like, oh, a guy in a suit, he, he did it. And look at me, no, he's not wearing a suit. Can't be him. Of course not. And they really just think she's been hitting the sauce too much. Aside from this guy here, who's edgy as anything. Maybe he's been hitting the sauce too hard as himself. However, we can run through here. There'll be none the wiser. Oh, they seem to be getting acquainted. This woman here is luring me in. Quickly switch to having the silver ballers um, ready to draw. Is Um, 
Did somebody run in there? Yeah, somebody did run in there. Well, we got rid of her quite quickly. You bet you got to skip that cutscene from what I can remember. Or, um, she kills you, she sedates you, or sticks a needle in your neck, and that's it, game over. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not actually allowed down here. Again, it's been a long time since I played this, and for many years, I actually knew this game like the back of my hand. I could pretty much um, deal with any scenario. Wow, it's so dark I can't actually see where we're headed. I actually thought we were about to jump to our desk. But Jesus Christ. That scared the crap out of me. But yeah, right now I used to know these, this level. Wow, I can't tell what the fuck is going on. They don't seem to bother too much at my parents here. I won't be allowed in there. Being here seems alright, actually. Yeah, he's got a suit on the ground. I could steal that, but I really don't need to be the waiter. Oh, not allowed in there. Doesn't seem to be going a lot going on in there. I probably could take him out if I really wanted to. Um, but you're meant to be able to get to an area somewhere. For some reason, the color is really messed up. And... Hmm. Turning up the brightness doesn't seem to have an effect. place I was meant to get to actually. Um, I just got rid of the senator's son by dropping everyone into the ocean below. Didn't mean to do that but okay. It's one way of doing it I suppose. Actually that is one of the ways you can do it. Um, So you never got to go and get that sweet, sweet loving. Uh, which way do I want to go? This way. Another problem is uh, there's two guards over here. Actually, I'm not there for some reason. Uh, I guess they've gone off to check on the senator. Uh, but they're usually over there. Might be those two. be one of them there. Either way, uh, they'll search you if you actually go through that entrance. Oh, wrong way. And if they search you, they find that you've got, get, well, in our case, silver ballers, which we really actually don't need anymore. We only really need them to take care of that extra target. Um, we'll go to the studio floor. And we had done that, so we could actually just discard them somewhere and forget about them. Oop. Sorry. The extra evidence. I can't remember where it is. 
there are some alerts on the map which are points of interest which does mean either there's potential to um, do a sneaky kill or something like that or find um, a file that we need but to be honest I really don't know where that is it's been so long since I played that um, this map we will climb up here. If we do get caught climbing up here, people do get suspicious of us, but while we're up here, um, we should for the most part be fine. Now we plant some mine there. The last target we've got, which is the Pawn Producer, or the Hugh Hefner parody, um, he'll every so often come in and watch this photo shoot, which is apparently Santa on the beach, or Ms. Santa on the beach, rather. Um, we can then blow it, and the studio lights will then collapse on him, killing him. Pretty much everyone below there, and his little dog too. Other things we do need to do is, um, We do need to get that tape, but we also need to get security footage. There's... Oh, there's one guard in there. Um... He hasn't noticed us yet. Well, now. Uh... I I've I think the evidence might be in here, or either that or the security footage is. Oh, yeah. That was the bonus footage. However, now we're in a whole heap of trouble because we won't be able to do the rest of the most missing stealthily. And I really can't handle the buttons keep bloody reloading the fence. Alright, we did that wrong. We do have the option to save during levels. Uh, but it's an option that... Yeah. Option I never use. Um, I really should. Now we have a clear idea, so we should be able to breeze through it without me yammering on, but um, I mean, I'm not even doing this with the intent to be a walkthrough. Did we get caught there? <coughs> no, sorry man. Love's mine. We did have the alert. Hello, 47. Um, Your next assignment's in the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. being blackmailed. I thought there was usually a... We do have a current notoriety, so... Um... I don't know. Uh, with those guards where we took the tape, or that one guard that was there, sometimes two, um, he talks to you, says good evening, welcome to the party. Uh, we have fun and games. Um, this will give you the extra bit. Okay, thanks for that. Um, I think. Oh, shit. I think even if we get caught pouring that into his drink, no one actually cares. Um, I think even the way they can be standing behind you and be just like, huh? Oh, oh well. Um, see, this. No, it's not here. There is a girl that will always... Oh uh, yeah, there's her. And, wow. Yeah. Apparently he's not into blondes. Sorry. And she's apparently got a cold, which I don't blame her since it's late Christmas and it's snowing. And they expect her to walk around like that. Um... But yeah, if he has, 
had a drink in the aphrodisiac. Next time she comes, uh, she will be more, or he will be more than happy to take her away. Let's have a nice spa. How are you come back with me? He's a bit unnerved by the fact that I was just creeping on him. I don't blame him to be honest. Uh, I'd be kind of upset if someone did that to me. And all everyone's just come to tell me off. Wow. Okay, sorry. Jesus. Um Yeah, I don't think he gave the drink because of that whole situation. Oh well. Uh, hopefully we don't get caught sedating him this time. But if we do, we can take care of it. Whoa. I just walked past the what? Completely ignoring that is a bald man standing over top of unconscious. Okay, he's actually facing up, but the whole point is you're generally not meant to kill any civilians. Um, however, you can if you fiddle around and enough have his head submerged underwater. It doesn't count as a fatality though, so. It's a bit, um, yeah, here we go again, this chick says, how you doing, we say, not too bad, um, how you doing, and she walks in there, again, I keep making it go the wrong way, it's good to have the silver ballers equipped, and we'll save the game. Uh, we can use 7 saves, I'm actually playing on normal mode. Uh, the main difference between the modes in this game is the amount of saves you get. Um, I've done a lot of these levels on professional mode where you get no saves and I never save anyway and uh, notoriety becomes more intense. Um, there's a notoriety mode in this where if once you've done something, if anyone saw you or there's any trace of a camera, uh, there's a newspaper report photo of you, or a, a sketch of someone who looks remotely like you. Um, depending on what mode you're playing, the better and better it will look like you. I'm not sure if anyone heard that. Uh, at the same time, I don't think it'd be good for me to be caught sitting in a standing in a room with a, you know, a young woman lying full of bullet holes in the ground. Um, regardless, I digress. We'll see if we can kill the sin of the sun the same way as before, because I really don't want to do it. You know. Three hour long video. Oh sh shit already. Yep, he's done. Again, we kill civilians that way, so I believe we won't get some assassin if we do <coughs> um, manage to complete the level this time. But, uh, I mean, I've gotten it 110 times before, so I'm not very really too far. Found a corpse. So I definitely won't be getting silent assassin. Again, every level I've got it. Um, I think of the save, if I can even check and show you, I don't know how, but um, I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure it keeps that kind of stat there. I believe that was the guy we meant to kill. No, it's just a security guy. Oops, wrong way. We also need... Ah, oh, there he is. That's the guy there. The 
the dog doesn't like us and uh, the guy just actually walked past because of the dog barking or kind of looked up at us but luckily he didn't see us uh, but unfortunately he's gone literally just left at the door just then which means it will be a while longer uh, before we can get him um, there's all the different rooms in the map uh, like I said points of interest the glowing uh, exclamation points generally speaking are uh, areas where you can talk to someone to get something extra or do a discreet kill maybe there's an objective there um, uh, who knows it's, it, it, it's just something that you should really go check out and the secret cell. Guy just went. Oh. We should be alright there. It is pretty much with all the Hitman games, um, the key really is patient. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not desperate to show you everything. I balls up, I balls up. It, it really does have the potential to take a long time to accomplish anything. Other thing I was going to point out, sorry, is on the second floor there, we see there's a security room. Um, at the start, there was a security camera that I believe may have spotted us this time. Um, usually it shows that kind of split footage as you saw the last time, um, where the... Uh, uh, it shows us on the security camera, but it did have the exclamation point um, pop up as well, which generally does mean you got spotted. Uh, yeah, we're that around here. Uh, so we may need to steal the tape to get a clean um, exit, and we're apparently not allowed here. Yeah, that's definitely a security guard room. I can't fill it with the light switch for some reason. If we turn the lights off, even though there's light coming from there, um, they won't be able to see a thing we do, like at all. We could walk and punch one of them in the face, walk back out, and they'll be none the wiser. Um, but yeah, that's the security room where I, I probably won't actually bother um, doing the tape. Uh, where's... I think we missed him again, by the looks of it. He generally goes between the, that room and the balcony to look out where... Of course, if we pick the sniper off at the start, we'd be able to pick him off from... Um, some point in the map. Oops, we can't go that way, because they'll check us and find our guns. Obviously, we can't go that way. blocking the pathway there. I'm not sure what they're suspicious about. It does seem to be some suspicion. Uh, I think I was just trying to explain the meters on the bottom left. Uh, of course the far left one is health and the next one with the exclamation point is a suspicion meter. Essentially, um, if it reaches the top, goes red, they know who I am and 
jig is up and the bullet's going to fly my way any second. Um, if it's yellow, uh, they're suspicious of something, they may have found a body, um, I, I'm in an area that I'm not meant to be. Uh, is this a helipad room? This shit am I? It's been so long since I've played this, I really don't know where I am. Yeah, I'm not meant to be there. Um, there are ways to get through. Uh, generally, I think, probably toggling a lot. Um, like I said, I, knew, I used to know the maps off by heart. And I know it's kind of easy to just go, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. The weird thing with this game is, oh fuck, I keep going through the wrong door. The weird thing with this game is, if you know it's just in, um, if one guard's on alert, pretty much they all become on alert. And it keeps going up for some reason, I mean I'm perfectly fine standing here. I have to talk um, <coughs> you know, I can stand in front, say, how about you take a photo of me instead. I say, alright, why not, we'll go for something different. There he is. Uh, there is actually a quicker way to use this. Um, I just used painkillers by mistake. Uh, you got painkillers, coin, which you can use to throw and distract people. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Painkillers are a really small health regeneration. He actually had missed. I can't believe it, but it missed. It only hit. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Even more surprisingly, or maybe not. Well, actually I was going to say, more surprisingly, that it didn't take the guy away, but he's back. It's gotten to the point where, look, these guards are going to keep coming. We're trapped in the corner. We have a little else to do, but to shoot our way. Out. My God, why is it so dark? Where's he gone? No one will speak the thing. Yeah, this is his private quarters. And he'll generally come out here and look over here. Um, probably for me, you can snipe him, looks like. Uh, well, there's many ways you can take people out, but we're definitely not being a silent assassin raining with what we've just done. Which is essentially just walk in here and fucking shoot everyone that moves. Uh, okay, let's find which floor he's on. He's on the second floor in the security room, which, as far as things that make sense go, that makes sense. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, God. I'm so disoriented by the ugly walls after playing. You know what? Leave no witnesses. We don't want to go that way. He's in the security. 
security room, which is just down these stairs. They'll probably alert. Those two are. Even though it's red, um... Oh shit. I was about to say, people really shouldn't be. Um... Suspicious of me. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's painkillers right now. Um, oh, well, that's lost my weaponry. Good game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Slow motion death. I really don't get the point of this. It's kind of meant to be like an epic death. You get your last shots in, but generally, of course, if you're dying, um, it means you run out of bullets. Is it, you know, games these days have that whole, uh, or a few games have that whole, uh, if you get your last shot in, you regenerate. Um, Max Payne had it. Um, Borderlands had it. And I think a few others do. Um, but, you know, with this, it looked like they maybe were attempting that. Um, but didn't bother in the end. Um, I don't really have time to do much, so I'm just going to go and shoot some people. For um, the sake of Christmas. Let's go find Santa Claus. It's just something I went completely the wrong way. We can run through there. Where's Santa? He's generally in the staff room here. Go here, go here, there he is. Sorry, kids, but it's no Christmas this year. Um, you might have seen that there was a sausage we just went past. That's for poisoning the dog. Oh, where is it? I can actually see it. Oh, it's on the ground. Um, you can inject it. Uh, what's on most seen me? You can inject it and you give it to the dog. Um, the dog, of course, barks at you all the time, kind of alert people of your presence, that sort of thing. Um, oops. 
Only two. Um, but yeah. That's really unnecessary. Change anyone? How about the button to front? There's a button to throw up. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. Hmm. Oh wait. Yeah. If we pull it out. right over there yeah that's how you do it but sadly well I think he's gone off some root and tooting let's go see He's gone off even though there's a giant blood stain on the... Oops, sorry. Didn't realize that the room was occupied. But clearly you've been a bad boy this year. How many should you get a gun too? Not sure why. Let's just do things the easy way while wow, I've still got a little bit of recording time left. I'm not allowed to over here. But you know that's not going to stop me. Because I'm Santa Claus. Nothing stops Santa Claus. He's in his room. It leads this way. I mean, generally speaking, you can just go out there and strangle and shoot and whatever. Um, with a little repercussion. Um, quickly reload sensor. a bit faster. Where am I? No. Back off. No. We've all been very naughty. And uh, the sound is packing here. Okay, so the helipad. <clears throat> Apparently he's a mental water bullet. As a superpower gun, that's reasonably good. Especially if you can be a body gun. And we're off. As you can see, I mean, really. Um, sneaking is no problem. <laughs> There's usually only one guard that you need to worry about.
and if I was more used to this game, I could remember how to flick up the light switches quicker and all that kind of shit. Uh, caught up camera? No, we weren't caught actually. Uh, witnesses fired, so it's a problem. Covers blown too, which would have been the photographer and the Santa costume. Bodies found. Um, generally, that's no problem. Accidents is the thing. Like if you if you do things via accident. Um, people don't tend to care, they kind of just go, oh shit, how unfortunate, and uh, you tend to, um, you know, not really worry about them. Violence very high, rating killer, no rating is actually very low, which I think is because we're only playing on normal mode, as I was saying before, the main difference between the modes are really just um, how much notoriety has an influence. Uh, damage control, we lost things, but we've got, we've got you know, half a million dollars for comparing the objectives. Um, I think I may have right my last um, but yeah, Kelly Slay 16. Blah, 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 pop queen, pop queen, blah, 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 episode, course 14 additional deaths, one killed with there's some party guests and we see guards. Lower sobriety. 72 shots we saw of uh we for bullet holes and the comparison of shots from some of the something it's limited experience, <laughs> limited skill and dangerous enthusiasm. Um, because we really just keep firing. But anyway, time's running out. So I'll leave that for now. Merry Christmas and enjoy videos to come. Got many, many on the way. Bye bye for now.